Kennedy certainly was assassinated, and the stories that are circulated for fun around that um, don't help getting any further to the truth on the matter uh, there. Um, and clearly, I think the impact of removing Kennedy is the seminal event of the last hundred years, because what happens is it changes the, you know, basically it makes the covert aspect of the government in control and the public con uh, control, you know, basically slides away at that point, unfortunately. Um, I do like to reiterate the rules of dark journalism for me that I discovered that got me to doing it. And they're simple. The first one is that you have the official story, um, which is usually, you know, in, a, in an important, like a deep event, like the JFK assassination is put in place to protect the individuals involved. Then you have the counter story, which is the story but you get all these professors and authors and researchers getting together and saying, hey, the official story has this problem and that problem, and by the way, you left this out and all the rest of it, and we're starting to get somewhere. So the media calls that second level conspiracy theory because they are trying to get people to believe the official uh, story because that's their role largely is protecting the establishment. And then, then there's the third force stuff I call junk conspiracy. And one of the junk conspiracies is something like JFK survived his assassination. And so people who are normal looking at this information say, well, here's the official story. Here's these counter stories. And somehow the third force, the junk conspiracy, is meant to muck up the works and combine with the counter story so that people won't look at the counter story to the official story and they'll assume and associate it with this wild, crazy story. Just like when you had all that stuff about the driver did it before that... Uh, got tired, that's one of those stories where they say, you know, hey, look, the driver did it. And there's no, there's, you know, it's completely ridiculous. The driver didn't do it. The driver certainly um, could have been involved with the Secret Service and slowing down the motorcade and all the rest of it. But he didn't, you know, the shooting was done by an expert team, the triangulated crossfire. Um, and, uh, you know, my feeling is that uh, it's one of the biggest con jobs on the American public and the public never bought it because even 72% of people say they don't uh, believe the official story, why we haven't moved on since then. Recently, uh, I did a story on JFK and how Trump has signed on with the CIA to keep the records backed up till 2023. Well, that's not smart. You know, those records should be out now because they could help us piece these things together. So uh, that's a pretty disappointing turn of events as in terms of getting those records.